invertebrate animals. Animals without an internal skeleton. These animals have not got bones. For example, clams, corals, anemones, starfish, and much more. General characteristics. Some invertebrate animals have hard covers that protect their body. Shells, one piece, two pieces, very hard shells or thin shells. Snails have one shell, mussels have two pieces, the beetle's shell is thin, and crabs have an articulated and hard shell. Two, others don't have any kind of protective covering. For example, a worm, a jellyfish, a squid, a slug. Invertebrate animals are oviparous. They are born from eggs. Invertebrates groups. Sponges. Echinoderms. Jellyfish, anemones, and corals. Worms. Mollusks. Arthropods. Sponges. Sponges look like plants, but they are animals. Sponges cannot move. Sponges stay fixed in one place. Their bodies are full of holes and their skeleton is made of spiky fibers. Water flows through the holes of their bodies, which enables sponges to catch food. Echinoderms. Echinoderms are invertebrate animals that have their body covered by hard plates and spines. They only live in the sea. Starfish and sea urchins are examples of echinoderms. Jellyfish, anemones, and corals. They have a soft body and tentacles. Jellyfish catch shrimp, fish, and other animals with its tentacles. Corals look like plants, but they are invertebrate animals. They feed by catching tiny animals in their tentacles. Mollusks. Mollusks have a soft body and nearly all of them have shells to protect their bodies. Most of them live in water. Oysters, mussels, clams, squids, octopus. Just a few live on land, snails and slugs. Worms. Worms have a soft and long body. There are earthworms and sea worms. Arthropods. Arthropods are invertebrate animals with their bodies covered by an articulated shell. The shell of the arthropod is made by a lot of hard pieces which cover their bodies. Some of them, like locusts, have a thin shell. Others, as for example crabs, have a thick and hard shell. There is a big variety of arthropods. They breathe through their tracheas or gills and they are oviparous. 
the arthropod groups, insects, arachnids, crustaceans, and myriapods. Insects and arthropods. More than three quarters of the world's animal species are arthropods. They are an essential part of our ecosystem. Although arthropods come in all shapes and sizes, they all have some things in common. They are all invertebrates. This means they don't have a backbone. They all have a skeleton on the outside of their bodies, called an exoskeleton. Their bodies are made up of segments, and they have many pairs of jointed legs. They also have bilateral symmetry. This means that the left side of an arthropod is a mirror image of the right. The largest group of arthropods is insects. An insect's body is divided into three parts, the head, the thorax and the abdomen. The second largest group is crustaceans. This group includes lobsters and crabs. Arachnids include spiders and scorpions. Nearly all arachnids live on land and are hunters. Like insects, arachnids have a segmented body. However, whilst insects have three pairs of legs, arachnids have four pairs. The last group of arthropods is the millipedes and centipedes. These creatures have many pairs of legs, one or two on each body section. To survive, all arthropods need shelter, food and a safe place where they can reproduce. They can be found in many different environments and arthropods can adapt to their habitats. Spiders spin webs to catch prey, while hermit crabs use empty shells to give them protection and camouflage. Bees take their food from the nectar in the plants around them. Some arthropods, such as beetles, live alone. Others, such as ants and bees, live in huge, well-organised communities. All arthropods want to reproduce. Because there are so many different types of arthropods, there are different ways in which they are born, develop and grow. Some arthropods, like spiders and bees, lay many eggs in protected places. For example, under leaves or in a hive. When they hatch, the young look like the adults. A few arthropods, like the scorpion, give birth to live young, which are carried until they are able to survive alone. Some arthropods have a life cycle where the egg hatches to reveal a larva, a grub-like creature. After a while, the larva becomes a pupa. It will now gradually change, or metamorphose, to become an adult. A butterfly's life cycle is a good example of this. Riddle, riddle. It's an invertebrate animal. It lives in the sea. It has got a soft body. It catches fish, shrimps, and other animals with its tentacles. What is it? A jellyfish. It's time to say bye-bye.